so this is the demo for uh, Split Second. It's a game that I didn't know anything about until watching Inside Gaming yesterday it was. Yeah, I guess. Well, anyway, it's uh, it's actually a pretty exciting game. Uh, it, surprisingly, it was made by Disney Interactive Studios. I mean, who knew that Disney could actually make good, exciting games? So, um, anyway, I guess the whole point is to um, destroy anybody that you're racing against, and as you can see, it's kind of hard not to have that happen to yourself, and yeah, I do suck at driving, and drifting may mainly is the problem for me, I just, I just cannot drift for the life of me. And so, yeah, gas stations, those blow up, and as you can see, you know, giant buses almost blow up and uh, kill me. And uh, drafting is another way to earn power, because to kill your opponents, you've got to have power plays. Basically, anything just falls on them and crushes them and sends them into oblivion. Um, and more drifting, attempted drifting, fails. Um, I think drafting is easily the best way to get power, if you fail as much at drifting as I do. And see, a helicopter drops an explosive barrel right on top of the friend right in front of me and doesn't do anything, so I decide to unleash random explosions on him, and I crash two people. And um, I, the only thing I don't understand about this game is not how I just slammed into a wall randomly. It's about how uh, the online's going to work, because if you're racing against other people online, obviously one power play isn't just going to take them out of the race, because the race would be over within 30 seconds. Uh, another thing is changing routes as I just did. I think if you have a full power bar it's pretty much the same thing as level 2 power play. You can just um, destroy part of the course to just make a new one. And so jumping also gets you power, although there aren't a lot of opportunities for jumping in the demo itself. And right here I get the opportunity to switch routes and uh, I hang back because obviously blowing up a giant air control tower is gonna hurt some people and I don't want to hurt myself. So I crashed that one guy and somehow the other guy who was more in the direct way of that blast wasn't hurt at all. And um, ramming into people doesn't seem to do anything. But anyway, here I go and opening shortcuts is a new thing too. So uh, Also, actually I didn't, I didn't do it in this one. And yeah, I just crashed but I, the funny thing is I had to answer my phone. And that's never a, a thing that you want to be doing when you're trying to make a video. So, um, another close call. I'm not really sure what that was. And, uh, power play that only gets rid of one, two people, actually. Never mind. Uh, it's very hard to not kill yourself with a power play, especially if you're trying to get rid of people in front of you. Another flaw in this game, I find, is that you cannot use power plays on people that are behind you. And I, I don't understand that, because... People, if you got people riding right up on you, you should be able to just get rid of them. I think I try drifting here. No, no, I, I don't try. Yeah, unless you can really, really nail drifting, don't go for it because it will, it'll screw you over. So anyway, there's some air time. I didn't even know that I was in third place. Actually, watching this, I thought I was in first. That power play did absolutely nothing for me. Oh, well, that did. That was random. Um. <laughs> So random fail at draft drifting drifting sorry oh and that's a plane yeah that that is a plane um, that somehow crashed somebody that wasn't my power play but that crashed somebody and I opened that shortcut that time and I'm now 2.5 seconds in the lead and I wrecked some random Asian guy and there's fires and a turn and some more fires and a helicopter. And then there's the end of the race, which I just happen to win because I'm awesome. So that's the split second demo for you, and yeah. About it. Peace.